Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. A question that I get asked all the time. There are a lot of questions that I get asked all the time. This one is, how many hours do you work out? And I say, I don't tell, I tell people all the time, I don't count the hours that I work out. I don't time myself working out. Like, all right, I'd work two hours a day. I don't work out like that. Second thing is, all right, then what's the average? What's the average amount of time you work out? How long did you work out when you were 15? <laughs> so people are always asking this. They always want to get some number of how much time you work out or it's how long should I work out? They want me to tell them how long they're supposed to work out. If I want to get better in three months, or I want to go to the NBA 10 years from now, or I want to play professionally in my country, how long should I work out? This is what you need to know. So make sure y'all taking notes and make sure you remember exactly what I'm saying to answer to this question. When you are working out, it is not about how much time you work out. And I'm sure all of you have heard that before. What matters when you work out, ladies and gentlemen, is the outcome. What is it you are achieving during your workout? That's how you need to measure your progress. So it's not about putting in X number of hours. I know some people are, some people ask me about the 10,000 hour rule. Like, Dre, do you really think I need to practice for 10,000 hours to get better at basketball? Not necessarily, number one. Number two, how many of you have logged every single minute you practice ever since you started playing basketball? Even if you heard of that and you decided you wanted to start following it, how would you even be able to go back and know how much time you spent. You have no way of knowing. So here's the thing that you have to understand. What you need to figure out, and you can take this from basketball and everything else you do, before you take any action, you have to ask yourself, what is my outcome? And this is something that I actually got from listening to a Tony Robbins tape. What is my outcome? So if you're about to call somebody on the phone, before you dial the number, ask yourself, what's the outcome that I want from this conversation? What do I want to achieve? Do I want to set up a meeting? Do I want to get a date? Do I want this person to come over to my house? Do I want us to schedule a time to have a longer conversation? Do I want this person to buy something from me? Am I trying to buy something from them? What is your outcome? What is the goal of this action that I'm about to take? So when you're about to go to the gym or to the court or you pick up your ball and you go down to the basement or outside in the backyard or wherever you at, ask yourself, what's the outcome here? What is it that I want to achieve? And when you ask yourself, what's an outcome? The outcome has to be two things. It must be specific and it must be measurable. Specific and measurable. So, let me give you an example of a couple outcomes that are not acceptable. I want to get better. That is not specific and is not measurable. There's no way of measuring that. A specific outcome is something that anybody can look at it and say, okay, either you did it or you didn't. So if I say my outcome is I want to make 50 left-hand layups and I filmed it, Everybody could watch it and say it be it's clear. It's a yes or no question. Did he do it or did he not? Did I make 50 or did I not make 50? It's clear. That's specific and is also measurable because I said 50. So if I make 49, I didn't do it. I came up short. If I make 57, I did it because I got 50. So you have to make it specific and measurable what it is you plan to do. So you could say something like, I'm going to go through Dre's simple daily dribble and drills and I'm going to do 100 of each bounce and I'm going to go through the whole series three times. Now, however long that takes is however long it takes. That's specific and is measurable. Because you said, how many are you going to do? You're going to go through it three times. You know what each move is. Now you have an outcome. So once you've done it three times, did you reach your goal? Did you do it? Yes, you got your outcome. Now you're done. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, what if I only have a certain amount of time? So let's say because nobody has just infinite time to just be on the court all day. Or well, maybe some of you do, but most of you have other things you got to do outside of just working on your game. You might have a game to go play in. You might have practice with the team. You might have to go to work. You might have to do something at home. You might have homework to do. You might need to go, go, go to sleep so you can get up the next day. So you might not be able to just work out forever. So figure out what it is you can get done within a certain time frame. So let's say you got 60 minutes to work out. You got an hour on the court and you're going to work out. And you say, I want to make 100 jump shots from these two spots on the floor and the hour comes up let's say you at 89 and the hour comes up do you keep going or well, maybe you don't have the time so okay you say all right i didn't get it in today i got 89 in an hour but my goal was to get 100 so what i'm gonna do tomorrow now that i know i had that benchmark of 89 next time when i have an hour now i know now i got something to aim for now you can say instead of saying 100 again you can just say i'm gonna beat what i did before 
I'm going to beat the 89 that I did before. So if you get 90 the next time, did you improve? Yes, because now in 60 minutes, you're able to make 90 instead of making 89. Now if you make 75, then you can say, I regressed. I didn't get better yet. So what I need to do is improve on that. So now I got to challenge myself, push myself to make sure I do better than I did before. So was, if you always have that continuous, never ending improvement, I think that's something that comes from an Asian country. They actually started that. They kind of coined that phrase, continuous, never ending imp improvement. I don't know if it was the Japanese, the Chinese, some Asian culture. Somebody can fill me in if you know what it is. You could probably look it up on Google or something. But when you do that, you're telling yourself, I want to improve every single time. So you have something to measure against what you did before. So this is a way that any of you can continue to work on your game, any skill that it is you're involved in. So if you got 30 minutes, if you got three hours, if you got two hours, if you got 10 hours, you can have these specific measurable outcomes for what it is you're doing. Even you players, when you go into your seasons, you can have specific measurable outcomes. You can say something like, all right, this season I want to average... 12 points and five rebounds per game because I'm going to be starting and I'm going to be doing this and I know I'm going to get the ball this much or whatever. And then let's say you get into the games and the coach benches you and you don't even get as much playing time as you thought you did. So now you may need to adjust. You can adjust your outcomes. You can say, all right, let me change what my goal is going to be here because some external factor, which I don't control, the coach and the playing time you get, I don't control that. The coach decides he don't want to put me in the game. Nothing I can do about it. I mean, you can talk to the coach, but if he decides he don't want to play you, he don't play you. Now you can make other adjustments. Now I want to change my strategy to, okay, now I want to earn whatever. Whenever I do get in the game, I want to play to as well. I want to play well enough that the next game I get in the game a little bit more. And then the next game I get in the game a little bit more. And then the next game, and the next game. So you can always change your benchmarks based on what your situation is. So no matter what your situation, you always have a specific outcome that you want. So if your outcome you come to find out based on external factors doesn't really match the situation because the situation might be completely different than what you thought it would be when you set the outcome, then you change it. You say, okay, well, the outcome is not going to be, I'm not going to be able to do that outcome because some external factor has affected this. So let me change my outcome. Now I want to do this. And wherever you start at, all you have to do is keep that continuous, never ending improvement. Is If you improve by 1% every single day, over a course of a year, that compounds on itself. It's not 365% because it compounds on itself each time. That's a mathematical, was a mathematical thing. I don't know the actual number, but somebody, again, somebody, one of y'all could fill me in on that, do the calculation. You can probably find that online somewhere. If you improve 1% every single day over 365 days, it's like, 10,000 something, 100,000 percent that you actually improve because each time you're improving on a bigger number, if that makes sense. But anyway, so all you asking the question of how long should you work out? How long do you work out, Dre? What's the average amount of time you work out? None of that matters. What matters is if you're actually getting better because when you get in the game, no coach is going to walk up to you at tryouts and be like, all right, how many hours did you practice every day in the summer? Or maybe some coach might actually, let me take that back. Maybe some coach will ask that. But they're only going to ask that if they see you got some game. And the only way you're going to have game is if you know what it is you're trying to achieve and you make it specific and measurable. And every day you're slowly improving, continuously, never ending, improving on your abilities and anything that you do. So I hope that answers a lot of you guys questions and gives you some guidance on when it comes to that time question. How long should I work out? What should I do when I work out? Well, y'all know what to do. I already put all that stuff out. Whoopanbook.com for the drills. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. Checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here. And make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day.